this week on Steel Horse Thunder. We head down to Bedford for Dumont's ride. Are you, what are you fighting? Did you have chemo yesterday? You did? So what's, all, what's the money going for? People. And people with what? Money. A cancer? Is it for your cancer? Mm-hmm. Yeah? We got a lot of people here, don't we? So he's our five-year recipient this year. Then we're surprised by a bunch of vintage motorcycles running through Martinsville. Well, it's, it's a motorcycle that I started out with. I, I purchased it, which is sort of a backyard covered up with a tarp for $300, completely rusted up and not running. Then we have the long-awaited special announcement for something new from Steel Horse Thunder. Steel Horse is brought to you by Leidendorf Law with over 60 years experience in motorcycle and automotive injury cases. Don't look now. Crambo's isn't just paint. It's your one-stop shop for motorcycle gear, parts, and service. Crambo's, voted the Indy A-list number one motorcycle shop two years running, has expanded with the state-of-the-art diagnostic equipment for tuning your fuel-injected Harley and a new paint facility to make your bike stand out from all the others. Crambo's also has a new retail area complete with leather, chrome, audio, and all your parts and service needs. Crambo's, voted number one for a reason. Motorcycle riders want the freedom of the open road. Unfortunately, other motorists often do not give riders the proper attention the law requires. Call us at Leidendorf Law. Like family, because we are. Vince, what do we have to look forward to this year with Flat Out? Man, I'm trying to do something every weekend. Even if it's not a big, huge event, I just want people to have some place to go. Because I know sometimes I get on my bike and I'm like, where am I going to head? You know what I mean? So every, just about every Saturday, check our Facebook page, uh, Flat Out Motorcycles. Uh, there's something on the bridge every Saturday, either an open house or an event. Today, our Indian Motorcycle Ride Group met up here with some people that weren't involved in the group, and they rode up for the Run for the Sun up in Anderson. Obviously, you have this beautiful Indian showroom floor that you guys have here, but there's so much more than that here at Flat Out. There is. I mean, Kawasaki, Yamaha for your street bike stuff. If you got, you know, if you play in the mud or you got a farm, we got the Polaris, the Can Ams. I mean, there's really something here for everybody. You know, I mean, it doesn't have to be just motorcycles. You've got other hobbies that involve power sports. It's here. Hey, man, we got a beautiful Saturday morning. We're down here in Bedford. What you get me all the way down here for? This is the DeMond McCain ride, Memorial ride today, and it's going to be a wonderful day. There's lots of bikes showing up, so that's what's going on. Lots of sunshine. You may remember Dumont from many years ago. Uh, we're going to find his mom, and we're going to find out a little bit more about what's going on today. And as you know, this year, all of our charity rides are sponsored by 36 Saloon in Rockville, Indiana. I'm telling you, if you haven't been there yet, you better get on the stick because everybody's going out there. This is one of the coolest places in the world to go, and they got good food, and they got good servers. You ready to go, Cindy? Let's go. You know, Amy, this is the fifth annual DeMond McCain ride memorial ride um you know i remember the first one and it was um just so amazing to me because the mom being there and just being able to pray for him and all of us gathered around and him being able to go out and um you know i know that that was his one of his wishes was to be able to go and in, in the bike and and ride so um how does it feel from that time as far as him being able can you remember back to all the happy memories of the first ride we did Oh, yes, I can remember almost every moment of that ride. There was over 200 bikes that showed up just to ride with DeMond. Um, Ted Hayes was the one who gave him a ride in the sidecar. Um, awesome band. Um, it was just an awesome day. It was one of DeMond's best days of his life. After that, he talked about this ride for weeks and weeks, actually until he could no longer talk. He talked about this ride. It, it was just a, a great experience for him. You know, and I remember him being in that little uh, policeman uniform that they gave him. He, he was so cute. Um, that was such a great ride, and it was such a great turnout. You know, and today, I know he's smiling down on us today because it's a beautiful day. Um, this is the fifth one. I know that you are you guys raise funds now for other cancer patients, right? Yes, this is our, our fifth one. Um, we've got little Johnny here. He's um, five years old, so... Um, He's been diagnosed for a little over a year now, and uh, he's he's here to see all the bikes and uh, to raise money for him and his family. So now, motorcycles, uh, charity riders, you guys have been a part of this since the beginning, correct? Yes, sir. Yeah, we help with the uh, planning of the route, and then the guys come out and we block traffic just to make sure everybody can get through all the intersections and get everywhere, you know, through traffic safely. 
Good deal. And so you may not act necessarily know exactly where you're going. You just go where they tell you to go and, and you get there. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I know we're going south. Other than that, I just kind of go go where I'm pointed to go to. And so. No, that's pretty cool. And I'm so glad that you guys have, have done this, you know, all these years. Uh, it, you keep all of us other people that are just out riding and, and trying to raise the money and everything else. You keep us safe. And we really do appreciate that. Uh, well, thanks. You know, that's just part of being a uh, charity motorcycle club. You know, we want to make sure everybody first and foremost is safe. This is Johnny Lee. And he is our recipient this year. He's from Orleans. I think he might be like 10 years old now. Are you 10? Well, how old are you? You're five? Oh, see, I thought he was 10 because he's just so tall. Right? And why are we riding today? Because you're doing this. We're, are we riding for, are we riding for what? What are we battling today? I don't know. Are you, what are you fighting? Did you have chemo yesterday? You did? So what's, all, what's the money going for? People. And people with what? Money. A cancer? Is it for your cancer? Mm -hmm. Yeah? We got a lot of people here, don't we? So he's our five-year recipient this year. Uh, we're really excited. We've got a lot of riders out, got a lot of beautiful weather. And we have shirts this year that we're doing every five years, right? Yeah? Yeah? Do you want to say anything to everybody? Look in there. You want to say? You just talk to me then. Want to talk to me? What's your favorite color? Blue. And how old are you? Five. And where do you live? Indiana. Orleans? Yeah, yeah. So we're going to go to Wings and Rings afterwards. They're going to donate 5% back of all sales from 3 to 7 p.m. And they're going to give 5% back to the family. So this is a great community. We love living in a small town. We all help each other out. I can't believe you're being so shy today. <laughs> well, little fella, how did this all get started? Well, how we got involved with it was um, knowing Morgan and riding with him. And when we came on one of the rides, uh, they didn't really have any traffic control and we just jumped in and started blocking intersections because we do that and and uh it's just became a thing where we're always here and helping him and uh we also do morgan's any other rides that morgan's do we always come and support him he's a great guy um, does a lot of good for his community and our community as well and stuff and we always have a blast supporting him and he comes supports us on our rides that we do well, I appreciate that, man. And uh, Mike, it's always good to see you and uh, see all your guys out here. It's a, it's a beautiful, warm, sunny, hot day. You know, hopefully there'll be a little bit of a sprinkle in the end. It might it might feel pretty good. Yeah. And uh, just so everybody knows, we actually have two rides coming up here in August. On August fourth, we have the Center Township Fire Victims Ride, where all the money raised goes to help people who might have had a house fire get burned out of their house and stuff so they can get immediate need before the Red Cross and stuff steps in as far as clothing and a place to stay, stuff like that. And that will be leaving the Center Township Fire Department in uh, Little Cincinnati in Greene County. And then on August 18th from the AMVETS in Bloomington will be the 14th annual, I believe, Flips Run, which we help with all the route and, and blocking and all that stuff. It's a fully escorted ride as well. Um, and it returns back and they have pulled pork dinner and everything after that it's always a great time one of the best rides around i think so i noticed they call you moses you got to tell me why uh back in the early 60s my dad was a semi driver and that was his cb handle was moses and when he passed away i always went by moses too i drove for about 30 years and then when he passed away i always went by little moses now i carry on moses that's even the last plate on my bike so that's just a long tradition in our family that's pretty cool yeah. Well, I noticed your badge right here on your vest. Tell me about this uh, IFLL Club. It's Iron Legacy uh, Motorcycle Club. We're part of the Alliance of Law-Abiding Motorcycle Clubs. I believe we're in 38 states and five countries. We are an international MC. Uh, we're just patching our first chapter from Canada tonight down in Louisville. So we're, we are a big club, but we are part of the Alliance. We come over today to help give our support here locally. Uh, we do a lot of lot of things for the vets and things like that too, and service dogs and anything we can help out in. We've been doing it for quite a while now. So well, I know you said you have something going on about the service dogs. Tell me about that. Yeah, August fourth, we're going to start a ride out of the Eagles here in Bedford for the service dogs. Uh, it's a it's a good cause. That, um, 
we're gonna that's gonna be our national charity ride this year uh, we're raising money all over the country the entire month of july and august and we have our national party in october we're hoping to raise over thirty thousand dollars to present to to them for the service dogs so we're at the dumont mccain memorial ride what brings you out to this ride today we've done it every year every year and is there a family tie or a friend tie or friend tie yeah yep how'd you hear about it through morgan lee morgan lee okay all right well i'll tell you what there's a lot of bikes that have shown up out here and so were you there on the the original ride when dumont road and sycar yep. yep was that not one of the most emotional days ever it was <laughs> Well, I tell you what, it's going to be perfect out here today. It's going to be hot. Yes. It's going to be hot, so make sure you wear your sunscreen and have fun and have safe, and thanks for talking to us. Thank you. Anything I can do to, to go out and help people that need the help, you know, these poor kids, and anything we can do to put, some, put a little relief in their life, you know, that's what it's all about. That is what it's all about. And speaking of a little relief, I noticed, you know, now some of your other brothers, uh, they were up there on the blacktop parking lot in the in the full sunshine. Um, it's pretty hot, and talk about a little relief. You had enough sense to walk down here in the shade. See this gray stuff? Uh -huh. This you don't get this overnight. This comes with age, and age says, "Hey, dude." You learned that in the fifties. Yeah, that is, that is wisdom right there. Correct. I got all day to sit on my bike in the sun. I'll enjoy the shade. If I had a chair, I'd take a nap, too. <laughs> there you go. You are the organizer of this ride, but I think we should change that. that maybe it should be Morganizer, because <laughs> yeah. you organize a lot of rides. Yeah, I've never heard that one before, <laughs> but that's pretty good. Yeah, I, uh, I'm a member of the Bedford Police Department here in the city of Bedford, Indiana, and uh, I do two rides a year, at least, uh, for cancer patients to benefit their families, all 100% donated that comes through the ride, any money that is donated goes to those families. Uh, unfortunately, uh, cancer is something all of us more than likely are gonna have to deal with at some point or another. And, and unfortunately, some of these families are dealing with it and we just try to help them out a little bit, so. Well, you know, you guys do a great job and you know, this ride, there's a lot of bikes here today, so I'm sure you raised a lot of money for it and we're so appreciative that you guys do a great job. I know for every ride that I've ever seen you put on, you do an awesome job. So thank you very much well, for all the rides. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. And it, it's nice to have people come out and do something for somebody that could never repay them. And that's really what we should do is, as people and as human beings is when we see somebody struggling, we ought to try to help pick them up and, and look at all the people out here trying to help pick this family up today. And it's great. It really shows you how good of people bikers are. And, Hey, it's Thursday Night Bike Night. I'm here with Dan Yohe. He's the official realtor of Steel Horse Thunder. You know, Dan, we got a chance to meet you a few weeks ago. Uh, tell me a little bit about the services that you provide. Well, obviously, I'm here to help represent anyone, whether you're looking to buy the home of your future or to sell the current home that you're in. Um, I'm happy to answer any questions that anybody has for me. Uh, no obligation at all. And uh, if you want to know what your home's worth, happy to help you with that. If you have questions about inspections or what to get prepared for, I'm happy to help you with that as well. Good deal. And I know we see you out here at bike night quite a bit. I know you're going to be at some of the rides this year and uh, you're pretty easily approachable. And so when you see Dan out there, if you got some questions, make sure you stop by and talk to him. Absolutely. You've been injured in an automobile collision, and suddenly your vocabulary has been expanded to include terms totally unfamiliar to you. We know accidents can be overwhelming to the injured victims and their families. You know you can put your trust in the familiar faces of Leydendorf Law. We take care of you and your family so that you can focus on recovering from your injuries. Leydendorf Law. Like family. Because we are. Tracy, you are the Southside Harley-Davidson featured woman rider today. So okay. tell me about your bike. It's a 06 Heritage Softail, uh, Black Cherry. Um, I guess that's all I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a beautiful bike. I mean, how long have you had this bike? I've had it uh, six years. Six years? Mm -hmm. So have you done a lot of long rides on it? Yeah, we've been to Sturgis a couple times. Um, we've been to Gatlinburg, you know, all the typical places that riders ride. Do you, do you have any bucket lists for this bike? Um, 
maybe Grand Canyon and that Arizona area that would be pretty well it, it is a beautiful bike have you done any kind of um, updates on it put any kind of bling bling on it um, we've put uh, extra chrome on it and some new pipes um, to give it more of a loud you know sound and I changed out the seat wanted a backrest that type of stuff so other than that we always good. like sound yes <laughs> <laughs> um, so did you go through the riding course to learn how to ride I went through the abate course did you like it? Yes, it was um, a lot easier to ride on their bikes versus the big bike to do those little turns inside the squares and stuff. So um, I really enjoyed it. Um, female riding has always been a big part of our family. My mom rides and um, so it was just kind of a natural thing to do. So this is just a generational thing that you have to yes. do it. So yes. your daughter's going to have to do it, yes. right? Uh -huh. <laughs> and I definitely like having my own. I don't like to be a rider. <laughs> I understand that. <laughs> so. Um, You've rode a lot of miles on this bike, which is awesome. I'm glad to see the women riders out there. You look badass riding in on your bike today. Thank, thank you so you. much for being with us today. All right, thank you. The attorneys at Leidendorf Law have over 100 years of experience in personal injury and wrongful death litigation. Call us at Leidendorf Law. Leidendorf Law, like family, because we are. How would you describe, in a nutshell, what is Texas Corral? Uh, Texas Corral is more than a restaurant. It's actually uh, it's a Texas-themed dining experience. It's good for the whole family if you want to come and bring everyone or if you just want to come in and have a beer. It's, it's totally fine either way. And just like in Texas, everything is bigger here. Absolutely. We have big beers, big samplers, but low prices. So whether you're taking the family out to dinner or if you just finished riding the back roads of beautiful southern Indiana with your buddies on the motorcycles, Texas Corral is the place to be. Two great locations. This is a standard lawyer commercial. This is a dramatic shot of me walking down the hallway. This is a stage scene of me talking to clients, even though they're not actual clients. This is the closing shot in my office where I say my catchphrase looking professional and confident. Look, all lawyer commercials are the same, but not all lawyers are the same. Leidendorf Law has been involved in the motorcycle community for over 35 years, with many more years to come. Leidendorf Law, like family, because we are. Hey man, we're on our way up to the Miracle Ride. Uh, it's Saturday, poker runs are going on. Miracle Ride weekend in Indiana and Cindy, what the heck is this all about? I have no idea. There are so many bikes over there and they're right in our own backyard, so we had to stop and find out. <laughs> we don't know what's going on here, but a lot of really, really cool vintage motorcycles behind us. We're going to go find out what in the heck is going on here in Martinsville, Indiana. Ron, we just uh, stumbled upon all this that's going on right now, so I'm not exactly sure what's going on, but I'll tell you what, out of all these vintage, cool motorcycles, yours really caught my eye. Can you tell me a little bit about your machine? Well, thank you for that. Uh, well, it's it's a motorcycle that I started out with. I, I purchased it was just sort of a backyard covered up with a tarp for three hundred dollars, completely rusted up and not running. Uh, a friend of mine and I did a complete uh, disassembly of actually two motorcycles at the same time. Uh, went through, cut down the frame, found some very uh, easy to you know components uh, to, to to work with. It's some very good vendors, guys like Revival Cycles. A Carpi out in California, a Cognito Moto in Richmond, Virginia. These guys are all terribly helpful in putting this motorcycle together. It's got a modern GSX R750 front end on it, and Olin's rear shocks, a modified frame, a Cycle Exchange 915 racing engine uh, with a with a, a high lift cam and, and a ported and. And it's just really, really a fun motorcycle to ride. And, and I, I really enjoy the paint job. That goes out to Crazy Colors here in Indianapolis. Guy did a, Josh did a wonderful job with that. And okay. I live just south of here, so it's not, you know, we're on our way up, Miracle Ride weekend, we're on our way up to, the, to Indianapolis. And it was like, I found out this was coming through. I'm like, well, shoot, let's see if we can find out something about this. And I was told that you were the man to talk to about this. So uh, what exactly hey, is... I might be one of them. <laughs> so what exactly is going on today? Uh, what's going on is uh, we're having a show up at uh, Fountain Square in Indiana Indianapolis. It's called the Reunion Show. Uh, it used to be called the Rockers Reunion, but it's uh, kind of changed management, so to speak. So you've heard of that. Uh, and this is the ride, which is affiliated with that. And uh, Mike Taki with uh, Speed City Cycle uh, used to put this on. He he did several years of this, and. Uh, 
the Rockers reunion uh, and the ride have just kind of been turned over. Uh, the reins have been turned over to other people, and uh, I was asked to put on the ride. Good deal. So now, and, and when you guys leave here, you're going to be going back, you're, you're heading towards Fountain Square now for the yeah. big show? So the first part of the leg was from uh, our shop, Hoy Vintage Cycles, in Brownsburg, Indiana. Uh, and the second leg will be from here to Fountain Square, so we'll roll in right when the show starts. I mean, this is really cool now. We have an old 87 uh, Honda Rebel, so would that classify? To that would classify, I think, 25, 30 years. Uh, it's kind of weird to think about that. and uh, But yeah, that's considered a vintage bike. That's cool. Well, maybe next year we can join you guys and, and Cindy can get back on a Rebel again. Have you talked to Mike Warner, who owns this uh, vintage gas station? Have not yet, but there's a lot of history in this building right here. Talk to him. He, he purchased this uh, within the last year or so, and uh, he, used to, uh, he owns or used to own Warner Steel. I think now his kids are taking care of that, but he, uh, he bought this old shop and fixed it up for himself and uh, offered to uh, host the, the middle of the trip. This is an awesome bike. Can you tell me about this Kawasaki? Uh, yeah, it's a pretty vintage machine. I was fortunate enough to find it uh, in a barn, technically, about 10 years ago. So, uh, you know, unrestored. I got it back running, did a little carb work. Uh, Hoy Vintage Cycles helped me get the final deal done. And, yeah, I'm now just out enjoying it. And it's pretty neat, and I get a lot of attention. People are pretty impressed to see it. It's a fun bike to ride. and proud to have it. Well, I heard it was like the best bike in the day. I don't know what old, what, what is the year of this bike? Uh, this is a 73, 1973 and what it was, it was it was a big change coming from the uh, three cylinder, two stroke bikes into the inline fours. So this was kind of like the revolutionary machine that, that changed everything for what we ride today, you know. Well, it's pretty cool. So you said you, you had to um, restore it. Did you have to do a lot of work to it? No, actually nothing has been done other than carburetor rebuild and uh, Hoy Vintage Cycle just put some intake boots on it so that it runs right. Uh, I had bought it from a widower after you know, nine or ten years that her husband had owned it past. Uh, so it had been sitting for quite some time. I aired the tires up, loaded it up, and then of course I had to buy new ones. <laughs> you know, I was I was an old Honda guy myself growing up. I mean, that was just kind of the bike to have, and 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 uh, it was just it was just so cool to see so many of these old Hondas coming in, and, and all the old vintage bikes. But uh, tell me a little bit about your machine here. This machine I built for my best friend Don. Um, it's a '75 CB750 Honda. You know, old bulletproof. Uh, CB750 game changer back in the day, you know, in the 70s, it jumped to the new millennium. Anyways, we took this and kind of resto modded it. So we've got a Suzuki Gixxer suspension on it. Uh, it's not stretched or anything, but it looks long. It's low. When you put the Gixxer suspension on it, it lowers it down. Don's a little bit shorter guy, so we did that. Clip-ons. Uh, it's got a GPS speedometer system on it with satellite uplink. So taking those old bikes and kind of bringing them up with modern electronics, um, that's what we kind of do. So we made the trip down from Ohio today, and uh, yeah, uh, this is my, I think I've, I've come to the, well, the old Rolling Bones and the Reunion since 2011, and I try to bring a different bike every year, so. So Duncan, I love this bike. Tell me about your bike and what we're doing here today. Um, we're doing the Reunion motorcycle ride and uh, my bike is a 96 Sportster. It was actually my wife's bike, but I wrecked it, so I guess I bought it. Um, we bought it with a tank like this. The guy that had it previously uh, had a hole in the gas tank and he got this one from somebody else and threw it on. And that was really the reason she liked the bike so much. Um, after I wrecked it, I had to replace the front end, um, new handlebars, uh, and then I kind of liked the old chopper look, so I went with the, uh, the King Queen and then like an old rusty sissy bar. and. Uh, I had to rewire tail light because the rear fender got smashed. Um, that's really about it. Well, you know, so you just had a bunch of vintage motorcycles come through here. Tell me what was going on today. As part of a uh, show that's in Indianapolis called the Reunion Motorcycle Show, they, it starts at noon, so they provide a ride that morning to give the guys a little extra something to do. Uh, and it, it originated in Brownsburg at a Hoy Vintage Cycles. And Steve Hoy is a friend of mine, and he contacted me a couple weeks ago and said, hey, 
I'd like to use your shop as a destination turnaround spot. Can you park 100 motorcycles? And I was like, yeah, I can park 100 motorcycles. So uh, um, we did. They set it up, and, and they, they showed up just now, and then now they're on the second leg of the ride heading up to the show. So Okay, so this is the first time that you've had them come through here. It is, yes. Uh, they didn't have the ride for a year or two, so they've just picked it back up. Uh, and I've just had this building for about a year and a half. So, yeah, it, this is all new to me. Hey, it's Scott and Cindy, your lovable host from Steel Horse Thunder. You know, we've been blessed to be doing this. We're in our sixth season now of Steel Horse Thunder. It's been a blessing, it's been a lot of fun, but you know, along with that comes a lot of burdens, and that is keeping a show on the air for that long and as many episodes as we do every season. So we're getting ready to take another step. It'd be the next chapter of Steel Horse Thunder. Cindy, would you like to tell the audience what we're gonna be doing? We are gonna start a Patreon page and what a Patreon page is, it is a page that will you can con contribute to to um, help with the show going, to keep it going. Um, and that way you will get extra perks for being a, a Patreon member. And um, it's, it's a great way for us to just keep the show going. It is, and we're going to do it where it's very inexpensive. It's, there's going to be three levels. We'll have a bronze, a silver, and a gold. You know that from the Olympics, all right? So the bronze, it's only $3 a month. And at $3 a month, what we're going to start doing is a monthly podcast. And you will get that monthly podcast is going to go strictly to our Patreon page people. So for $3 a month, you will get our, our, our podcast. Now for the silver, it's going to be $10 a month. Along with the podcast, you're also going to get a holiday gift basket that we will be making. And then we have the gold level, which is $20 a month. And at $20 a month, again, you'll have the podcast, you'll have the, the holiday gift basket, but you're also going to have some special perks for a special end-of-the-season party that Steel Horse Thunder is going to be doing. And now that we've explained what the Patreon page is, Cindy, would you like to explain why we're doing this? Yes, the reason that we are doing this is because it takes a lot of time and a lot of work to put on the Steel Horse Thunder show. Um, we, both of us, work jobs during the week, and so we need more for production and for the shows that we would like to do, like the wall that we did a few years back, and we would like to be able to do that. Also, we have a lot of people who ask us um, how they can support the show and also there are motorcyclists and there's non-motorcyclists so we have a lot of people who ask about that and we've never had an answer and now we do now you can go onto the patreon page you can support us and you can follow us and you get extras and it'll be a lot of fun you know and all that being said i do want to mention we have the greatest sponsors in the world and the greatest audience in the world you know and w without the sponsors we couldn't do any of this but Again, it's just something that we need to, if we want to take the next step, this is the way to do it. So that's why we're offering this to everybody. You know, if you have any questions, feel free to, to email us. It's pretty simple. It's either scott at steelhorsethunder.com or cindy at steelhorsethunder.com. Or you can message us on Facebook. Or, you know, when we're out of the ride, just come up and talk to us. We're very approachable. We're pretty nice people. I know Cindy's scary looking, but we're pretty nice people. So again, thank you all very much. Thank you, sponsors. Thank you, fans. Thank you, audience. And remember, it's not what you ride. It's that you ride. Been waiting here patiently for you, bud. All right, you ready? <laughs> got it focused? Got me looking good? <laughs> I want to be pretty. We got a beautiful Sunday, Saturday. Beautiful <laughs> Sunday, Saturday? So, Mike, you just had a bunch of vintage bicycle bicycles. <laughs> Start over. <laughs>